Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are we doing? It's Big P here, <laughs> and still, you know don't you, you know. Right, Frank Warren, secret meetings with Sky Sports, what does that tell us? Uh, well looking into my crystal ball from Aldi, right, this is how I look at it. Maybe Sky have had enough of giving exclusive deals out to certain promoters. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that's what's going on. Maybe they, maybe they've had enough and they just want to see good fights now. But who would you say is in a strong position now? Has greed cost Eddie and Sky dates? Well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Because we promised a lot of people a lot of money, and nobody's wanted to take fights, have they now? not for poor money now Frank Warren's at the top of the pile with heavyweights Tyson Fury is involved with him he's involved with Dubois the next big thing so he's in a strong position Sky Sports will have seen that they will have seen Joshua fight Ruiz first time and second time both stinkers for, for Joshua even though he won the second one I think that Sky are probably they're probably looking at the situation and thinking, where are we going here? We had the urn. The product's watered down. We're not going anywhere. So they've gone back on their hands and knees to Frank Warren. That's what I think. Uh, an alarm bell start ringing in my head when I hear that Johnny Nelson, a.k.a. the Sky Company man, oh, well, let's have it right. He won't be Frank Warren time of day. He won't pee on him if you're on fire, would he? But Johnny Nelson's now running about saying... Frank's the man and Frank's the comeback kid and Frank's, you know, he's at top of his game and blah de blah and when Johnny Nelson's coming out saying that to people in the know, people who I know personally, hmm. <laughs> you're going to see some big changes, that's all I'm going to say, so keep watching, keep supporting boxing, uh, have we had enough of Eddie Earn now? Not yet, not yet, but maybe we might all fall back in love with Eddie Hearn then and be a cheerleader. I used to be an Eddie Hearn fan, true. When he had Frotch, I was an Eddie Hearn fan, but then once he started going, going down the route of Anthony Joshua's better than Ali, once the narrative started getting, getting spun and then we saw the greed and you can soon go off a person, can't you? Although Eddie Hearn's an hard worker, but he's, he's lined his pockets, hasn't he? And he's done a lot of damage to the sport, hasn't he? There's a lot of things I could say on here, but I've been in a lot of trouble. But I'm trying to narrate a story to you lot. It's up to you to pick the bones out of it. It's like taking an horse to water. I can't teach you how to drink it. You've got to read between the lines, what I'm telling you. All right. On sporting bo supporting boxing, keep watching channel, keep liking and subscribing, keep them comments coming, even all you haters out there who are jealous to death, keep them comments coming, keep it coming, build up the porky legend, peace out.